Hey y'all, so today in Christy Church, we are going to do spring cleaning on self-love. And the intention of the spring cleaning is to hold space for you so that you can spring clean on self-love either with me or learn how to do it by yourself. I will start this video explaining what spring cleaning is. And then I will um, do a demonstration of spring cleaning by myself on self-love so you can see like the flow. And then I will do a timer. So this is a timed exercise and I will um, hold space for you to spring clean on self-love. And you can return to this container as many times as you need. This is a safe space for you to be witnessed in. Um, for I am holding space in the ether at the time of the recording of this video, witnessing you as well as there is great sister in the sky, divine goddess, divine mother of all that is, that is also witnessing you. And that's part of the beauty of spring cleaning is you can release so much in this exercise through the power of actualizing and getting stuff out that you normally wouldn't say or that you've been taught to suppress and have it witnessed by the universe or another person if you decide to take this to another person have it witnessed and then it gets vacuumed out of your energy field. Spring cleaning is a technique that I learned when I was attending Mama Dina's Christy Boot Camp and it has changed my life so much in the last year and I'm a huge advocate for holding space for people to spring clean because I've seen how much my life has changed. Some of the housekeeping rules on spring cleaning, um, there's always going to be a timer and there's going to be this thing called pools and whenever there's a pool it's basically like symbolizing to the subconscious like oh these are your last few chances to get this out and then after the pool you close with a trinity which a trinity is a brag so something you're celebrating a gratitude something you're grateful for and a desire because even in the sixth grade day like when photons are witnessed then they make their way to matter and so i'm speaking a desire out loud to myself in this video or to the universe as they watch you interact with this video then it has been witnessed if something is always watching us and then your desire can be made into matter and the point of spring cleaning is if there's a lot of big desires that you're calling in chances are you probably have a lot of emotional charge and energetic charge and muck in your mental emotional body around that desire and so you go into a spring clean to actualize, which self-love is a great topic to spring clean on. And you always choose a topic so that's like one to three words. You don't want it to be too long because it cuts into the counting of the timer. And self-love is just like a, such a great one, especially like for women to um, spring clean on repeatedly. Like I definitely recommend spring cleaning on self-love a minimum of like a week minimum. But honestly, this is a clean you could probably do for a month and still find that there's more to spring clean on, right? Um, and when you spring clean on self-love, then it's like you're actualizing and moving out all that gunk of like self-hatred, self-loathing, people's projections, your own projections, ancestral stuff. You're moving that out, which then makes way for your desire to have an easier path to you. Think of it as like when you're spring cleaning your house or deep cleaning your house, you, let's say deep cleaning, you don't get everything cleaned out in one swoop. Everybody knows deep cleaning is like a process, right? And you have projects and segments that you work with. And so you can deep clean on self-love and take time to process and have your segments um, to further clean and shine up and sparkle up your mental, emotional body. And some of y'all might benefit right away from it. And some of y'all might notice after a few tries that you just, you feel more confident, you feel more loving towards yourself. You feel like, oh my God, like, that $50 gift card that I signed up for on Amazon, like, I won it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And it might just be because you spring cleaned enough of it out to make way for that gift card to make its way to you, right? Um, and yeah, so self-love is great. So also during spring clean, as I hold space for you, I will have a pretty much poker face for the clean itself. However, for the Trinity, I'll smile and nod. You try to have a poker face when you're spring cleaning with another person because the subconscious is very sensitive to facial expressions. And so 
you don't want to like smile thinking you're being encouraging to the person when really they think maybe you're smirking at them and then they don't feel safe and they close up and don't go as deep in their pain as they could have gone right um so for the most part i'll have a poker face if you really know a person you can smile if you know that it's like okay and safe for them and really it is reassuring for them or something but try to keep a poker face uh think of the clean as like you want to be concise with what you're cleaning on you don't want to go into a huge story if there's a huge story you want to break it up kind of like the frames in a disposable camera you want to break it up and tell the story through the frames for example the wrong way of doing this would be um the person holding space asks me thank you what do you have on self-love oh my gosh like i remember getting bullied so much in seventh grade and people were making fun of me when people like did this cleopatra makeup on me for like my humanities class and like I went home crying and it was just so horrible. Like that's a huge run on. That's a huge story. That's a huge chunk. You don't want to do that, right? The proper way would be to like be like, thank you. What do you have on self love? I remember when I got bullied in middle school. Thank you. What do you have on self love? My best friend was doing a demonstration of applying Egyptian makeup on me, and people picked on me. Thank you. What do you have on self love? She was really popular. Yeah, I was already unpopular because I was considered a nerd. Thank you, what do you have on self-love? And then I went home and like I cried to my mom and the bullying continued and it just really made me feel insecure. And then you would just continue. So you break it into like bite-sized digestible pieces, right? Um, and then let's see what else. Oh, sometimes the subconscious might not be used to being engaged with in this way. So you might find that someone's like, thank you, what do you have on self-love? And they're like, I have nothing. Thank you, what do you have on self-love? I have nothing. Thank you, what do you have on self-love? There was this one time where like, I was really feeling myself and then like my classmate like pointed out my pimple. Thank you, what do you have on self-love? Usually if you do a couple layers of I have nothing, it sucks it out and then that way you can continue forward and you're clean. Um, another one is, oh so like skin cleans are layered like chances are self-love is a big topic so chances are you're gonna have a lot of the same layered gunk and emotions because you've lived a whole life of maybe not being in a place of self-love right so it could be like thank you what do you have on self-love i feel unworthy and fat thank you what do you have on self-love i feel unworthy and fat Thank you. What do you have on self love? I feel unworthy and fat. Thank you. What do you have on self love? I feel like teen magazines taught me I was only lovable if I looked a certain way. Thank you. What do you have on self love? And so you see, as you acknowledge the layers, repeating them, they move out and then the new layer emerges. And then let's see what else is there. Um, you might find as you acknowledge something that you might get a bit emotional and that's totally normal. Sometimes when something's been waiting a long time to be addressed or acknowledged or actualized, it also moves that emotion with it. So you might find you get really griefy, you might get really angry, and that would be a good time to afterwards um, go into a swamping practice, which I'll leave a link at the end of the video so you can click on that and learn how to swamp which is a dance practice that helps your body physically move stuff out. So the spring clean is like mental, emotional, and then the swamp is like physical. Um, and you never want to spring clean longer than like 15 minutes because then you kind of just get caught up in the thought cycles. I find that in my experience and like witnessing other sister goddesses, like anywhere from three to seven minutes tends to be a really good container. Um, and you might find that all of a sudden you have like your body starting to ache or you have a headache. And sometimes that happens um, if something really deep moved and the body has to like adjust its tissues and cells to match that. And so the body does its own expressing. Um, in the spring clean, you don't want to dance around emotions and beat around the bush. If you're really calling in big desires, just say what comes to the top of your head and spit it out basically um and it could be in the form of like a full sentence or sometimes it's a body sensation sometimes it's just a couple words that don't necessarily make sense but it makes sense to your subconscious 
that sign to just get it out. Um, and there's like the positive and negative charges to like a battery, right? And so, yeah, you could swing clean and be like, oh, I'm grateful for this. I really enjoy this. And that's fine. But make sure you're going into the other side of the charge and be like, I really hate when people put me down. I think that person's like such a bitch. Like say the ugly that maybe your parents would have grounded you for or punished you for or someone would like look down on you for. The point of this is, is to get it all out. Um, because it's better out than in. And then that way that what you're calling in can make its way to you. Um, in the law of attraction community, a lot of people teach that like you have to really feel for your manifestation to come to you. And so, so many people think that they have to minimize or bypass like half of their range of emotions because they think anger is bad. They think grief is bad. They think shame is bad. And while they're not the most comfortable emotions to experience, like you don't want them stuck in your body and then you're bypassing them and minimizing them and creating disease in your body and then like you get half of your manifestation and you get sick and then you just feel really confused and like what did I do wrong like it's like you have to actualize and get stuff out and when you're actualizing like the mind knows the difference between actualizing versus like speaking things into existence so this is also why with a clean like you don't go in a huge clean because then you turn into thought cycles the point of this is like you're actualizing and getting things out um, consciously. So you're like, I am aware that I'm saying this and vacuuming this out of my energy field with like God and goddess, great pussy in the sky as my witness, with this YouTube person as my witness. I'm aware that they're witnessing me get it out. And in a sense, I'm giving it to the universe like, hey, I don't want this because I'm calling in this. So you're like out in, right? Um, Versus if you keep going on and on and on about like the same thing over and over and over and over, like some people love to go on and on and on and bitch about work. Um, it's better to spring clean and actualize and get stuff out about work through this witnessing container versus like going on and on. Cause then you're in this thought cycle and then you're manifesting what you don't want, which is more shitty work situations. Right. But when you actualize and do this in a healthy and conscious way, it sucks it out and makes way for that which what you're calling in. Um, Self-love is a very layered topic, especially for women. It is for men as well, but this playlist is for women um, or those that identify as women. Um, so yeah, just say whatever comes to mind. It could even be like how other women have brought you down. And the point of even actualizing that is like, you're trying to make space in your field for self-love, but then also if like you're calling in like other sister goddesses and stuff and you don't necessarily trust them because maybe you went to school with like the mean girl, um, then it's like you're also pushing away that sisterhood that you want where you guys can nurture and grow together. So you have to actualize what you have about women in your field also, right? Um, and yeah, anything, like I feel like someone watching is going to like be scared to say like they hate something because they were taught it's a bad word, it's a bad emotion, it's a no-no. Hatred is part of the human range of emotions, which science has proven that emotion carries a certain density and a certain weight and it does, some ha it does have some type of matter. And when these emotions are not expressed for fear of blank happening you have fear right there and then maybe you have hatred right there so you have two biggies that are congesting your body um then it just makes life very uncomfortable in a myriad of ways and so it's okay to get that emotion out you don't want the weight of like hatred in your body it's okay to actualize it safely in the space and let it go it'll feel better um so I think that's what I got. So I'm going, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration of like the spring clean script and I'll do a timer on my phone. And then that way you can see kind of how to do it by yourself. And then I will, after my demonstration, I will do a timer for you and then you'll spring clean with me as your witness. And then if you need more time on the pauses, just pause the video and then unpause it. Um, so you keep going on the clean and that's totally fine. Um, also, um, I show up in Pussy Pitch today, like with self love in mind, because I'm like, it takes a lot of self love to show up in your underwear for a bunch of other sexy sister goddesses and possibly perverted men who type in the word pussy on YouTube and watch this video, because that has happened. 
Um, it takes a lot of self-love to get to this point, right? And it also takes self-love to like play. Like this is my inner child loving to play with like legs and stuff. And then like there's my inner artist who made this flower crown. And so like this is me and like a totally cultivated self-love attire holding space for you to awaken to what your self-love attire is. Maybe it's not this, maybe it's some beautiful dress that's glittery and sequency with heels or maybe it's like some really cool makeup or I don't know. But anyway, just felt like that was something someone needed to hear as well. Okay, so I am going to start my timer. I'm going to do my self-love spin queen for a total of um, three minutes and three pulls. And as I do it, I'm going to get comfortable. You always want to be comfy as you're like spin queening also, um, just because like it's like a, it, it triggers your subconscious. You never want someone to interrupt your spring clean either. Make sure you're doing it in a space. You're not going to be uninterrupted because then your subconscious is like on edge, like because you're going into your psyche, right? So, alrighty. Beginning with spring clean. Sister Goddess Poppy, are you ready to begin your spring clean on self love for a total of three minutes and three pulls? Yes. Thank you. What do you have on self-love? I'm going to start the timer. I have fear of rejection. Thank you. What do you have on self-love? I have shame and sadness. Thank you. What do you have on self-love? I have horror and poor. Thank you. What do you have on self-love? I come from a family that shames me when they see me show up in this way. Thank you. What do you have on self-love? I, I come from a family that has religious programs that did not teach me to honor and love myself as a woman. Thank you. What do you have on self-love? As a child, when I was going to catechism, or maybe a teenager, um, I played the part of Mary Magdalene and like the Christ reenactment around Christmas. Thank you. What do you have on self love? And it was just like so known that Mary Magdalene in the Catholic Church was a prostitute or a whore. And I really feel like some part of my inner adolescent internalized that identity. Thank you. What do you have on self love? And so there's like some old buried part of myself that sees myself as like a whore and it really gets in the way of me loving myself thank you what do you have on self-love see i'm having a wave of grief come through me and it's okay to breathe and pause and go slower if you need to thank you what do you have on self-love i know the story of mary magdalene now as an adult is not true to what the church portrays but it's just like i feel like that inner adolescent just needs to give that up in this container Thank you. What do you have on self-love? I have a brother-in-law that does not like me because I am too bold and empowered for his very Christian way of being and relating to women. Thank you. What do you have on self-love? In school, I feel like it's just a not like in middle school, it's just like a nonstop cycle of like kids bullying each other, trying to like self-preserve and that's where like self-hatred is born thank you what do you have on self-love I was talking to a friend like last week about this girl that I remember kids bullying and taking her wig when she had like a medical condition thank you what do you have on self-love and that memory just like I think evoked a lot of fear in me that made it really difficult for me to show up on my channel with wigs thank you what do you have on self-love I have a fear of people bullying me about how I show up. Thank you. What do you have on self-love? And at the end of the day, these people aren't in my day-to-day -day life. It's just a really old program that was created when I was in middle school, getting bullied for wearing like glasses and having pimples and just being a skinny kid. Thank you. So the timer went off. I don't know if you heard it. Thank you. This is your first of three pulls. What do you have on self-love? I feel like anytime I don't know something or don't get something right, that it makes me a failure, which causes me to just beat myself up. Thank you. This is your second pull. 
What do you have on self-love? Um, I have nothing. Thank you. This is your third and final poll. What do you have on self-love? I've been spending a lot of time pouring self-love into myself to hold space for others, but at the end of the day, there's still residue from family wounding where, like, that small child in me just feels unlovable and unworthy of receiving life's blessings. Thank you. This concludes your spring clean on self-love. It has been an honor and a pleasure holding space for you. Would you like to close with the Trinity? Yes. I go Trinity is like you went into the muck of the container and now you want to pull into something more elevated and more like of the heart, right? So you close with the Trinity to pull out of all the muck. So I brag, meaning I celebrate. Um, I brag that I am in a new stage of nurturing and developing myself within the realms of self-love. I brag that I have been putting a lot of care and time and attention into my inner masculine energy. I brag that I'm nurturing my feminine energies and you've ways for me to connect with those inner masculine energies. And I brag that as I recalibrate to this new timeline that I'm living in, that all of my needs are provided for and it just shows me how loved I am by the universe. And I am grateful to have all of my needs provided for. I'm grateful to feel the love of the universe, the love of God and goddess. I am grateful to have surrendered to my pussy and my heart and my spirit guiding me in this chapter of life. And I desire to continue to be guided by my pussy, my heart, and my spirit as I proceed forward in life. And I desire that in allowing myself to be guided in this way that I begin to stand taller and more confidently with more love um, backing me. And I desire to have so much self-love poured into myself that it emanates outward and just reminds other people of the love they are worthy of to where they're like, oh, I'm feeling myself and I love myself just simply through my energy field touching them and rippling that outward. And I desire that more and more people love themselves so this world be can become a more loving and harmony harmonious space for all of humanity to live in so then when you close and you're like well brad beautiful gratitude and so it shall be or something even better and wetter than your wildest dreams which this is like little pussy sparkles of light because like pussy creatrix portal right so like yeah it's just making it so um and then yeah that's it that's your spring clean um, so now I will go ahead and set a timer for you. Um, also I was feeling greasy in the middle of the clean and then it just passed, which that is what happens as you get more and more into your clean sheets. Your body knows what you're doing. Your mind knows the container. Um, sticking with the script is really important because it creates safety for the mind to go into the container and get kicked out, right? All right. So I'm going to set a timer for you for three minutes and three pulls. Sister Goddess, are you ready to begin your spring clean on self-love for three minutes and three pulls? I'm going to hear you say yes. Thank you. Starting timer. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. 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 What do you have on self-love?
Thank you. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. What do you have on self-love? First of three pools. What do you have on self love? Thank you. Your second pool. What do you have on self love? Thank you. This is your third and final pool. What do you have on self-love? Thank you. This concludes your spring clean on self-love. It has been an honor and a pleasure to hold space for you. Would you like to close with a trinity? What do you brag? What are you celebrating? Ah, brag. That is so juicy. And what is something that you are grateful for? What's your gratitude? Gorgeous gratitude. So lovely to have so much things to be grateful for in life. And what do you desire? And in this part, remember, there's no desire too big or too small. So the more specific you get, the better. But if you're just starting, just start with whatever you have. And you'll say, I desire. or something even better and what a something wild with spring yay well done on your spring clean on self-love that is so awesome that you took the step to take time for self-love by learning about spring cleaning and sitting in a container that is safe to be witnessed in and allowing yourself to move out that which takes away from you having self-love um I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please make sure to subscribe.
subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for other spring cleaning videos that I will be doing on the Pussy Tips playlist. Uh, there's, I think, already a handful of spring cleaning up, and I'm in the midst of working on my spring cleaning video. So that way, for those of you that don't necessarily have someone to turn to to spring clean with, um, you can at least tune into this container and know that it will be shipped and cleaned regardless. Um, be well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And give yourself a nice big loving hug. Alright.